Hey friends, Drex here from Drex Factor Poise, sharing with you the love of poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video of myself performing an anti-braid combo that got a lot of attention and a lot of requests for me to show how all the different transitions I'm using in it work. So, heh, your wish is my command. But before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecca, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I have down in the description of this video. And special thanks to the non-business friends of the channel, Leigh Machinsky and Becca Bekonen. Thank you both so much for supporting my channel, my work, and my mission. All right, so let's get this rolling here. Let me show you the original combo. It involves me starting off with a cat versus pendulum and doing a quick transition over to isolation versus cat eye, another transition into isolation versus cat eye, and another transition into isolation versus cat eye. As I go back and forth like this, I also have the option to switch back into pendulum versus cap, but now switching up which hand is doing which. So, how is that funky moment where I'm keeping the poi together through the center working? What exactly is going on there? So these kind of anti-brid tricks and transitions are stuff that I've been doing for the better part of a decade, if not longer. Um, and by the way, if the word anti-brid is Greek to you, um, I will go ahead and leave a link to a playlist of tutorials that I've done on the topic down in the description. Uh, but for those of you who are really keen to understand how this is going, there are two pieces that are really, really essential to have. The first are linear isolations, and the second one are point isolations. And really, the two of these different poi tricks have a lot in common in that we're having movements where the hand is moving a lot and we're trying to restrict the movement to the poi head. Uh, they're also real tricky when it comes to playing around with gravity. Like, if you try to do a point isolation and bring your hand all the way around, there's inevitably a point where gravity wants to pick back up that poi head and make your life difficult. So point isolations tend to happen when the hand is going over the poi head, and linear isolations uh, tend to be a little bit more successful when we're letting gravity do the work for us of letting the poi head drop. Okay, so how do these pieces of the puzzle go together? Let's start off with our first trick here. This is pendulum versus cap. My right hand is performing a cap, my left hand is performing a pendulum, and I have my left hand even with my shoulder so I can keep the relationship between my right hand and my left poi head even. It creates uh, that lovely little optical illusion that makes anti-brids so cool. So the first thing we need to watch out for here is that moment where both my left hand poi and my right hand are departing over from my left hand side here. Now normally as I'm performing this cap, uh, I am just simply performing an anti-spin pedal down below. But I do something here that is going to change the way the momentum of this is working just a hair. I'm going to try as hard as I can not to just do a pedal at the bottom, but to actually let my poi head drop straight down my center line. Now, once I've done this, it also means it's going to come straight up my center line, like so. Now, when I bring my right hand over to my right hand side, it's usually pointed straight out to the right. But by making this little tweak, it's now coming straight up my center line, and my hand is still aligned with the opposite poi head. Okay, so we got to this position where we have the two poi even with our hands, and our right hand is still out to the right, our left hand is about on center line. Our next move is to take both the right hand and the left poi head up and over to the left hand side. Here's how we're going to do that. The left hand, as it's going back and forth like this, we're going to give it just a little bit of extra oomph so it does a spin above our hand over to the left. It's very, very important. If we look at it from our perspective, it looks like it is spinning counterclockwise. That is, it drops down and around to the right and then up and over back to the left. What the right hand is doing, it is going to do that linear isolation and then as it comes straight up our center line, our right hand is going to go over it in a point isolation like so. That is the key to making this work. 
So to see all that together, we go back and forth, back and forth, and I'm gonna drop down and take it around, like so. It takes a little bit of prep, well, it takes a lot of practice in order to get this to look as clean as possible. But the points that I'm trying to hit are making sure I get that horizontal line right here when my right hand is straight out to the right. It's trying to make sure that my right hand and my left poi are moving in unison over top. And of course, I wanna nail that same horizontal line over on my left hand side with my right hand reaching across. Okay, so we have found our transition. We can and take our hands up and over and arrive in this place over on our left hand side where we have this anti-bread alignment between our hands and poi. So what comes next? The answer is anything that you can think of that can include this alignment to the hand and poi right here. But I personally have two things that I really like to do out of this transition that I'll show you here. The first, quite honestly, is just to go back to the trick that I interrupted when I was performing that transition and take it right back into pendulum versus cap, like so. How does this work? Basically, you take that moment when you come over uh, to the left-hand side here and treat it like the other side of the trick that you just did. So as I'm performing this linear isolation straight up and doing the point isolation over, I can drop back into a linear isolation straight down and then treat that like the edge of that bottom part of the pedal. The whole thing looks like this. And then all I need do with my left hand is switch into a static spin for a moment and then drop back into a pendulum. Altogether, that looks like this. As we go around, boom, we drop back into the trick. Boom, we drop back into the trick. The only thing tricky about this really, aside from the fact that you're doing linear, isola uh, linear isolations and point isolations, is that you're picking up a lot of acceleration as that right hand poi is going straight down your center line. So it can take a little bit of effort to pull back into that cap and not have this look like it's utter chaos. The other option, which is the one that I showed off in that video, is to do a transition into cat eye versus isolation. Not only does this absorb some of that momentum, but it also plays around with the alignment of going back and forth from a pattern where the hand path is two poi lengths across to a pattern where it's only one poi length across. And what that looks like is as my right hand and left poi head go over, uh, the momentum is such that my right poi head and hand wanna drop and my left poi wants to keep going counterclockwise. So I let them. The only trick is that I bring my left hand up as this is happening while my right hand goes down. And that of course keeps the anti-brit alignment and specifically my right hand aligned with my left poi and I can then pull them back around into that isolation versus cat eye that whole transition is gonna look like this, going up and around and over. So as I'm performing this isolation versus cat eye over on my left hand side, I have access to another point in which the two poi come up and are parallel and align with each of my hands, which means that I can use this in the same way that I did over on this side and bring both of the poi and the entire pattern over to my left hand side. The only difference, now I've switched up which hand I'm gonna be using for my cat eye. It is now my left hand. And if it worked on the left side, it'll also work on the right side. I can find that moment when the poi are coming up together, send them back over and switch back into isolation versus cat eye over on my right side. I can literally just go back and forth between the two sides using this trick. So all told, I go from my pendulum versus cap, take it up and over, switch into isolation versus cat eye, take it up and over, isolation versus cat eye, take it up and over, isolation versus cat eye. I can just go ad infinitum on this, but ultimately I usually just switch back into cap versus pendulum at some point and switch it to left hand doing the cap instead of the right now. And I think it looks pretty cool. So there you go. I think this is a pretty cool looking transition and I would love to see some of the creative things that you all out there can do with it yourselves. So please upload some videos of yourself playing around with this to Instagram or TikTok and tag me. I would love to check them out. If you got anything out of this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe both to help other people find it and to help my channel grow.
This video would not be possible without the kind support of all of these lovely people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon. They and the people listed down in the description help to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you one and all for your very generous support. And if you out there watching would like to support my work and are not currently doing so, you can sign up to do it over at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. There you can get access to a whole host of awesome rewards and even better, you'll be helping me out in my mission to bring poi spinning and flow arts to the whole wide world. So go check that out, please and thank you. Do you want to see more anti-bridge stuff from me? Let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, I will go ahead and include a link to a playlist of other videos I've done on anti-bridge technique down in the description as well as up here on screen if you're watching on YouTube. Also, the YouTube algorithm thinks that you might like this top video based upon your past viewing habits, so maybe give that a look as well. Thanks so much for watching, make sure to flow today, and I'll see you with a new video real soon. Peace.